Oklahoma's film industry is booming, and so is the festival that brings in new talent, new voices, and new stories to our state. Lacey is out on the porch with our friends from Dead Center Film Festival, gearing up for another annual film festival. Hey, Lacey. The 24th annual. Can you believe it, Storm? Thank you. Joining me this morning is Executive Director Kaki Porch. Porch on the porch this That's morning. Right. I love that. <laughs> uh, Kaki, talk to our viewers about the Dead Center Film Festival. Kind of introduce it for folks that don't know what it is. Well, we are, this is our 24th year. Yes. Uh, we are the largest film festival in the state. We're the only Oscar qualifying film festival. And so we, um, uh, in particular, in, in two different categories, which is short live action and short animation. And so if you win in those categories for a festival, you're actually eligible for an Academy Award, Whoa. which is a big deal. That's awesome. Uh, but outside of shorts, we, we really show everything, mm -hmm. a little bit of something for everyone. Uh, feature narratives, feature documentaries. We'll also have panels. Uh, we'll have parties. So there is something for everyone when you come to the festival. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be on uh, June 6th through 9th this summer okay. uh, in downtown Oklahoma City. You are accepting films right now. That's right. Through uh, February. What's the date on that? February 7th? February 15th. 15th. Yes, is the, the final deadline. Final deadline. What are you looking for? What is that process like of judging all of these? So, uh, first of all, um, each film is, is first screened by our screening committee, okay. which is run by volunteers. And films are watched multiple times. And then depending on how they're graded, then they are kicked up to the programming committee. And we have a programming, uh, our programmers, we have about five programmers, mm -hmm. and they have... Um, Different interests. There are short programmers. There are documentary short, for, you know, talk, documentary programmers, mm -hmm. narrative features, um, and so um, and so. Then once they decide the best of the best, then they talk about where will it fit, and we'll, they, we always do blocks of shorts. Um, and documentary films, will it be better for an audience in the morning or at night? So um, that's really how we um, choose our films. I mm -hmm. mean, it's a very democratic process. They're watched multiple times, and, and we really try and get something for everyone here in Oklahoma. Yeah, best of the best. You yes. received 2,000 entries last year, had to cut it down to less than 200. Yes. So, uh, but this is not all you guys do throughout the year. You have some other educational things. Talk yes. about that. Yeah, we do. So we have a very robust year statewide education tour, mm -hmm. uh, Victor Caballero who's our um, education director, he travels uh, literally across the state. And really our, our focus is rural Oklahoma to show uh, the young people in rural Oklahoma the exciting career opportunities there are in film mm -hmm. here in the state. Um, we also um, collaborate with Metro Techs. This summer we will also during the festival have Dead Center University, which will be working with Oklahoma City Community College to do a a uh, four-day camp for young people, and we will also have a teacher track wow. through OCU. Okay. So we are teaching young people and teachers about the um, exciting opportunities there are in film. I love that. We've got to wrap, but I want to say this. You've got a giveaway for our viewers this morning. Explain what you got in here. Yes, we do. In our bag of goodies is actually a uh, two passes, two all-access passes to the upcoming festival. Okay. Um, and so if you actually put on Instagram uh, something, the most cinematic thing you can do about Dead Center Film, and also tag uh, Channel 9 and tag The Porch yeah. and then hashtag Dead Center Film and Dead Center Film Festival and you can win two all-access passes to the festival awesome. uh, this summer. Kaki, thanks for talking to us. Thank I appreciate you. it. Storm, back to you. Much fun. If you have an organization or a community event you'd like to see highlighted out on the Coca-Cola porch, you can submit your uh, idea over on news9.com slash porch.